What's up, guys? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Surviving the Aftermath, a interactive colony building, city building type of a thingy dealy do. Anyway, <laughs> this takes place in a post apocalyptic type of a setting or mid apocalyptic setting. It's, it's not very post apocalyptic, I suppose. It's kind of smack dab in the middle of it. Anyway, let's uh, let's get into this this game with a setting that we've definitely never seen before. Um, I <laughs> I tried to start a stream of this minutes ago and Twitch was like being real weird. Like ended my stream and started it back up and it was, it was all it was all it was all weird. It, it really took the the wind out of my sails, but anyway, Let's get into this. Prologue. A modern civilization is gone. It fell apart in a time when rivaling superpowers fought over power and ideology. Too focused on themselves, no one noticed what was coming, until it was too late. Skies rained down fire as thousands of comets and massive objects pummeled the inner solar system. On Earth, cities were leveled and replaced by vast wastelands. As nations vanished, the re remaining factions waged decade-long wars over scraps until there were no armies left to command. Now we're all that remains. Looking for a new home, looking for a way to start over in this age we call the Aftermath. Okay, let's get on to this. So, the, uh, the one of the cool things I find about this game is that uh, replayability and whatnot seems pretty decent because uh, you can do you can do a lot as far as tweaking the difficulties and whatnot. But uh, anyway, I'm going to be going middle of the road here. Uh, pretty pretty basic challenge here. So we're going to set our challenge to medium. Our catastrophes, our catastrophes, if you will, um, those are going to be also set to uh, middle of the road here. And then uh, environment, I think environment might be one of the biggest changes you can make in terms of difficulty. This changes how uh, fertile and barren your uh, your land is, and we'll get into that uh, once the game starts up. But uh, yeah, like I said, and then survivors, same thing, choice two. Uh, ideology. This has to deal with your uh, your tech tree, I believe. Um, but uh, anyway, let's uh, let's get into this. I'm gonna choose uh, basic survival skills with a tech focus of survival and efficiency. I tried out uh, I tried out another one, which uh, I tried. I don't know. I played this last night uh, before I was deciding to uh, actually play this for the channel and whatnot. But uh, I chose uh, uh, health and safety for the the last time. But anyway, let's. Uh, do this. So we got uh, various specialists that we have to choose here um, from a few minutes ago when I tried to you know, stream this before. Uh, I ended up choosing uh, Scrappa right here and uh, Satoshi. And uh, these can be renamed in uh, in-game if you so choose. So uh, I might be picking names from, uh, you know, Twitch chat or, you know, YouTube subs, stuff like that. But, uh, Anyway, if you guys want to be a part of the uh, the colony, let me know down in the uh, in the chat slash comments, and uh, I'll try to add you guys in. Anyway, uh, I wanted to choose Satoshi because he is just a pretty decent pick. Good research speed, good recovery, good uh, good scavenging. The scavenging is mostly what I wanted him for, and then I picked Scrappa because I wanted a fighter. His base attack is 20, the highest of the initial survivors, or rather the uh, the, the the initial specialists. Um, and he's also got decent recovery and, um, you know, decent scavenging. So he's, he's pretty, pretty good as far as most things are concerned. Um, he's mostly going to be around the base, I think. But, uh, anyway, let's, uh, do this. I'm going to choose our little, our little flag. Um, I think I was choosing something like this because of the whole farming thing. But, uh, anyway, let's do this. Uh, colony name. I have no idea what to pick for colony names. Um, guess, uh, I don't know, we could sit here and mess with this stuff. If we want Leadsville, that's, uh, that's great. Adapt and overcome. Yeah, I kind of like that. That's fine. Okay, so there's our, uh, breakdown of our summary. Fun stuff. Let's go. It's already been six minutes of me just randomly talking, so let's just get into this. It'll be fun. We'll have a good time. A good time in the apocalypse. Okay, so 
pause the game immediately. Um, we got a few things to do here. Whenever you see one of these little bubbles pop up with a green circle, um, that's a mission that you can click on. The world is in ruins. Things once considered mundane are hard to find, and habitable land is no exception. A settler has finally found a spot for a new colony. With a place to call home, it is time for a new beginning. Welcome to the aftermath, survivor. Okay, so they want us to build a campsite. Uh, that's going to mark the center of our new colony. So, you can zoom in, zoom out with right stick. Left stick moves around the camera, as you can see. Um, L1 opens up your little tabs up here in the top left-hand corner. So you can see tooltips and missions and stuff like that. L2 opens up your menu for building. Pushing down on the D-pad opens up your various overlays and whatnot. Um, which are very, very useful. Um, I'm going to change our radio station here to something else a little bit less dramatic. <laughs> um, but anyway, what we're looking for right now is a place for our campsite, and in order to figure out where exactly we, we'd probably want to do that, uh, we're going to go to our overlays tab and look. So this is what I was talking about earlier when I said, uh, you know, barren land, fertile land and whatnot. Uh, yellow is uh, normal, red is barren, and green is fertile. Fertile land, you want to try and keep for uh, your farms and whatnot, obviously. Um, all this up here and all this. I don't think we can actually use a lot of this land that's past where this debris field is, because that's where our gate's going to be into our community. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of great choices as far as fertile land is concerned for farming. We have a lot of barren land. This is probably one of our best tracks for farming, this whole section right here. I don't mind using normal, but green is definitely what we want to do. So we're probably going to try and focus our building around this area. Um, because, well, it's not all messed up. Uh, now, where's some water? I think that's water, but man, that is not a lot of water. <laughs> um, yeah, that's not. This is not the best. Uh, the best layout. A lot of water up here, but that's gonna take a while for us to get to. Okay, this is an interesting, interesting little starting location. So, uh, yeah, let's get our campsite all set up here. Um, I think I said I want to build in this little area, and you can kind of tell by looking at it where the green stuff is. Like, here's green, here's normal, and this is going to be, like, barren over here. But, uh, let's just double check real quick. Yeah, so I'd probably want to build my campsite around here or around here, if possible. I don't think I'm going to worry too much about this fertile land that's right here. Um, we'll just mostly worry about that stuff on the perimeter as far as building is concerned. So let's get this out here. You kind of want your campsite to be as far away from your gate as possible uh, because you, uh, you have a scouting location and radius around your campsite, which reveals things. But uh, anyway... Let's get our little guy to get on over here and build this up. It's a free building. You get a number of free buildings starting off. So he'll go ahead and build that up. It'll only take a second. Said it'll only take a second. <laughs> okay, so they want us to build the little building menu here. All right, so... We've got two tents we can put down, a stockpile, a food storage, and a water collector that we've got to put down. Um, I would like to... Actually, here, go there ahead and... Survivors waiting for a signal. <coughs> Shoot the flare, invite the colonists, because I want to uh, build roads to actually set up some of this stuff here. 
Come on. Yeah, they want us to build a shelter, too. Shelters are needed in order to, uh... Your first colonists have arrived. Yes, they have. Prompted by the signal flare, the rest of the group arrives at the prepared campsite. Despite all the hardship ahead, it's time to rebuild and turn this hostile place into a home. Got it. Okay, so now that our survival, our survivalist settlers are here, we can actually get started on some of this planning now. Um, so, things you want to keep track of while you're out and about is pollution. There's a lot of it around here. There's actually a pretty fair amount of it on this side. Wow, that's actually really bad. Um, that kind of flies in the face of our farming eventually, but whatever. Um, do we... Wow, we don't actually have any water near our little base here. That's kind of crappy. Oh well, there's things we can do for water that are independent of all that. Um, we could build a water well, for instance. <clears throat> but first off, I'd like to get some roads going. Um, can I keep an overlay up of my fertile land while I'm building? Yes, thank you. Okay, so I'd like to build around this area up through here. So let's build these. These are free, these roads. Um, let's try to stay away from the pollution here. Pollution ends up leading to, uh, bad stuff. You can get, end up getting irradiated, and nobody, nobody wants a part of that. We'll, uh, just build that up there. Gonna try to use the campsite here as a focal point, and kind of go off a ways so much radiation. You have to be mindful of where you build things in this, because um, as you're building around and whatnot, uh, if you come in contact with too much pollution, you get irradiated, which is just no good. Nobody wins when it comes to that. So I'm going to try and build up a little bit here, and we'll be building around these little areas here as we're going. Let's just get that. Okay, these workers and stuff will be running through here doing all their work. Um, I'm not too worried about losing these trees that we lost right there just because uh, we can eventually get a forester and they can start working on some of that stuff. But uh, yeah, first and foremost, we're going to need some tents. Um, pretty much, I'd like to keep the tents and whatnot somewhat around the same area. Um, speaking of which, can I put down, yes I can, a burner. Um, I would like to make sure that my buildings are kept suitably warm when the time comes, because that's something I don't want to be struggling with as we're going. So we'll kind of just build this around here. Could actually just build this up here. It's not going to be, like, specifically even, but... Okay, and uh, for now, we'll actually pause these. There we go. The reason I'm pausing them is because we don't need to use the resources on them just yet. I just wanted them there as a place marker for where we're going to be putting this stuff. Um, so this entire area is going to be covered as far as uh, cold resistance is concerned. Uh, we're going to need a few things here. We're going to need some tent setups. And you can, of course, press square to place multiple copies of any given thing. We're going to put those two there. Those will be set up to build. Um, let's see. Stockpile. Where are we going to be doing a lot of our gathering? 
there's actually a lot of wood around here, which is very good. Um, not a whole lot of plastic, but I've seen worse. Not terrible. Uh, we'll probably just put this right above the campsite. And then our food storage. That collects berries and whatnot. You don't have to worry about this radius, by the way, uh, because you can set where you want your workers to go and gather. So don't... Oh, that's very nice. Um, so don't worry about that too much. Um, we can just put this right here. And we're going to need a water collector, but unfortunately we don't really have any water. Here's water. Terrible amount of water. Um, now we're going to have to go way up here for water collection. That sucks. And I think there was some to the left. Yeah, this is the main lake that I'm going to want to go to. So we're going to need an outpost for all this. That's kind of cool that water is in the craters. That's pretty neat. Oh, look at this. There you go. Um, so you do have to deal with efficiency. As far as uh, certain buildings are concerned, um, we can't do anything about that right now, though. So we're going to need to build just a regular well, which is fine. I would like to get... Let's see, that's going to be 96% for... Yeah, I think that's going to be fine there. Uh, yeah, let's let them carry on here. So, now we can designate our actual little work areas here. Um, I'm going to set this up for here for now, so that way they'll gather berries from there. That'll help a lot with our food. The resources almost set up there. Um, we're going to need to also set up uh, I don't think I can get any more than just those for now. Um, yeah, that's fine. They can continue working with these ones. Got some more set up here, 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 and here. Uh, we're going to also need to gather plastic. Plastic is very important. Yeah, that's our recycler. We do have some plastic around here. And same thing with this one. You don't have to worry about the placement too much. Um, just because of the fact that, uh, yeah. Salmonella Gaming, what up? Welcome to the stream. So yeah, same thing with this. You don't have to worry too much about the placement of it because you can change your work areas. Um, now you do have to worry about your actual colonists traveling through areas. Uh, so the actual travel distance is a concern, but I don't know. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Alright, so for now we can just kind of let them do their thing thing. Um, one of our first big things that we need to do is uh, build a gate. Yes, colonists have arrived. Wonderful. Um, let's select one there. There we go. Why did you want me to select a colonist? Oh wait, is that? Uh -huh. That's one of our specialists actually, not one of our colonists. Okay, water well's done. That's all good. Cook something while you're trying to understand what you're playing. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is a uh, colony building survival type of a deal. So, city ma management building and whatnot. It's pretty fun stuff. Uh, we do need to build more shelters, actually. So, let's see here. We need two more shelters. Thankfully, we do have the resources for this. So we'll go ahead and put those down. So yeah, right now it's just kind of dealing with uh, resources and all that stuff. Now we can actually get our, yep. our specialists here to gather certain resources. Wood, berries, and stuff like that. Um, so we'll kind of have them grab some of these resources that are kind of by themselves like this. Same Ready. thing with Scrappa. We can get Scrappa over here to do this. Good. Uh, now, one thing I would like to do is actually build a scouting tower over here 
So that way we can unveil part of the map. So let's see. It's not too expensive. Unfortunately, it's not going to reveal too, too much. But, uh, yeah. We'll put that there for now. They'll run that over. So you can only build where it's uh, the fog of war is uh, not covering. So that's something to take into consideration. I guess we could take a look at some of our resources and whatnot. Yep. So, if you press up on the D-pad, you'll then be able to see your resources, and this can includes your production, your consumption, you know, various other things that you can do. Right now, uh, our water is, our production is 12. Yeah. How many hours have you played to reach this point? Uh, I played last night for like three hours. So it's pretty easy to get into and pretty easy to understand. Um, let's press, press square to uh, change our work order for this. And uh, we'll move it right over here. Gather this plastic here. Plastic is very important. Um, same with wood. You're going to run out of wood very quickly in the early game. Um, but yeah, no, thankfully this game is pretty easy to get into. The tutorial's very clear. Um, and it helps out quite a bit. And then, of course, if there's anything that you don't understand, you can always check out YouTube videos, like the one that's currently on your screen right now. So, yeah, there's some other buildings that uh, we should probably look into as well. Can't do anything with a fishing pier, unfortunately. The trapper is going to help with our food production. Now, unfortunately, our efficiency kind of sucks right now. You gotta deal with pollution. I'd rather not deal with it. Now, when we unlock the forestry ability, uh, this will be a lot easier to deal with. Um, because then we'll actually be able to build our own little bit of forest. Man, this, uh, this efficiency sucks. The efficiency is real bad. <laughs> Salmonella. Enlighten me, Sensei. Yes. So... Yeah, this is not great. It's not great as far as efficiency is concerned. Efficiency obviously dictates uh, how well your uh, various buildings perform in any given area. Um, I think I just kind of have to deal with it. Yeah, it's not great, but I guess 50% is, it is what it is. Our forest is kind of, like, we have a decent number of trees, it's just they're all spread out, which is part of the problem. Oh well, it is what it is. We can eventually uh, fix that once we get on through forestry and whatnot. Um, select a specialist. Where are my specialists? You? Yeah. Reporting in. Okay. So, the, one of the things we definitely want to uh, try and rush along would be this construction right here. It's pretty expensive, though. 190 wood, 175 plastic. But that enables us to go out to this area, which is our, uh, our world map, which we need to gain access to in order to get... Uh, Tech points. Tech points are used to go into your research tree to, uh, well, unlock new technology. Oh, is this like a sea tile? Water tile. That's kind of cool. But anyway, we don't have to worry about that just yet. Right now, we just need to worry about um, plastic production and whatnot. Right now, it kind of sucks. But uh, it is what it is. Um, we can actually pretty soon. You know what? Let's just move this work area now to over here. And we can have our specialists. Your orders. Oh, they actually don't need to grab the rest of this. It already got grabbed. That's good. Um, one thing I would like to uh, build sooner than later, though, is a uh, where is it? Where is it? There it is. It is a medical tent. Having one of these set up 
very soon would be a good idea. Uh, the reason for that is because, uh, well, your colonists can get sick. And uh, seeing as we have a lot of resources near pollution piles, we're going to need this pretty soon, I think. So, let's just do that. We are going to need more... Uh, is put another worker in our recycler to double up our production for our uh, our plastic. And uh, if you look in the top left-hand corner there, you can see a little little smiley face. See see all my colonies all happy. That's not going to stay the way that it is for pretty soon. Pretty pretty soon people are going to be pissed off at us. Um, but uh, you've got a number of different uh, job types in the game. You've got workers, which are people that are specifically assigned to certain buildings. You've got carriers which are the ones that, uh, you know, move stuff around, and then you've got your, your elders, your adults, children, you know, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, right now, one of the more important things are carriers. Carriers are the ones that uh, move stuff around. Yes, I know, constructions are lacking because we're all out of plastic. Yes, yes, I know. Don't worry, we're working on it. Okay, so our trapper's done. That's good. Yet again, you can make sure that you move your work area so you don't have to worry too much about where a lot of your efficiency is. Uh, this efficiency is actually 100%, so we're good there. <coughs> okay, so they're going to do that, and they're going to be getting us food. I would like to have, you know, that water there. All right, so let's explain scouting percentage. Um, if you look on this, it'll say scouting, 31%. It said 29% earlier. Um, as a building is, you know, there, this type of building anyway, a, sc a scout tower, um, you can see the, the radius around it. There's a little circle there. Every once in a while, it gets bigger as time ticks by. Um, it takes a while for the actual scouting to reach its full potential. So eventually, um, this tower will reach all the way out here as far as what it can see us. But for now, all they've been able to look into is this. So that's something you have to take into consideration. Same thing with our campsite when you initially set that up as well. Um, you can see right now we're at 66% scouted. Eventually, it's going to go all the way out here. So that's how you find new resources and whatnot. You complete your scouting successfully. And, uh, yeah. So, it's kind of an interesting system. It makes sense. I mean, you wouldn't immediately know where everything is. You would have to send people out to go look for stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, let's, uh, yes. make sure that our little guys here are constantly working. Um, yes. now, unfortunately, your, uh, your specialists can't grab plastic. I don't know why that is, but, I don't know, maybe the work is, is beneath them. But uh, it is what it is. So they're doing their thing. This is almost there. It needs eight more. And then we'll get our medicine up. Um, another thing I'd like to build is an outhouse. An outhouse is very, very useful. Um, but you do want to make sure that it stays away from your, your camp somewhat. So where is... Oh, I love that smooth jazz. Feels good, man. In my ears. Uh, I'd like to put the outhouse... I don't know, I could probably, like, throw it way over here, actually. Um, people would have to walk through the pollution, though. Um, yeah, we'll put it out here. So we'll move our little outhouse over here. Ta -da! There you go. And it does cause pollution, so you do have to be a little bit conscious of where you place it. But, uh, anyway, let's get a road here. Ta -da! Oh, yeah, you guys love that that's not lined up, don't you? <laughs> you love it. Don't don't even lie. You love it. All right, so once you see the, uh, the fence around a building, um, that's when building is actually started. So you can see the little blueprint becoming solid. Fun stuff. Glad you, glad you liked that there, Salmonella. You know, it's funny, Salmonella. I actually got up in time to watch one of your streams if you had streamed. 
but I saw that today is your day off. I hope you're, uh, you're relaxing successfully. I do actually have a little bit of water here, but not enough to do anything with. Not really. Oh well. It is what it is. But yeah, I'm hoping you, uh, you end up having a relaxing day. Playing Bloodborne, yeah, I saw that. I uh, I was watching one of your uh, one of your uh, your streams from earlier. Um, I don't know if it was your first Bloodborne stream from the other day, but um, yeah, I was watching that earlier today. I uh, I am I am not good at Bloodborne. <laughs> um, okay, commotion in the camp. Someone's yelling inside of a tent. We'll stop it. Suddenly, muffled cries for help start echoing from one of the shelters. Inside, a large hole has opened up in the ground, swallowing the poor colonist. Oh no. So, a makeshift ladder is what they want, and it costs 15 wood. You know what? It's fine, because we've got plenty of wood. I'm gonna be a nice guy. There you go. Nearby colonists fetch wood from the stockpile. Together they fashion a crude but functional ladder to lower down the sinkhole. The fallen colonist climbs up, rattled, but otherwise unscar or unscathed. The hole is filled and carefully covered to prevent any future surprises. Sweet. A wonderful usage of wood, if I'm being honest. So our uh, specialists are still kind of idling right now. Let's, um... I don't know, come over here. So from what I can tell, your survivalists are uh, immune to pollution. So if you have any dangerous work that you'd like them to do, like going around pollution, for instance, um, have them do it. Alright, what does this still need? Just waiting for a builder. So everything's been allocated, now we're just waiting for a builder. These, uh, these little roads that I put down still need to be built as well. I always find it funny in these kind of games where you have uh, roads that you want to set up and how the AI decides what road to build. Like, why wouldn't you finish this road? Why are these two not done? Why is that? What does it mean? <laughs> why do you do these things? Um, but hey, it is what it is. Um, by the way, colonists will try to prioritize uh, going on roads where possible. Uh, they do make them faster, obviously. You can see the speed difference here between this guy and this guy. But yeah, you, sometimes you want to build roads just to help necessitate transportation of cargo and whatnot. That's why I'm trying to build around a predefined road structure. So yeah, fun stuff. Uh, plastic is always going to be something that is a little slow for us. I could actually build another one of these uh, recyclers to try and expedite what we're gathering, but... Um, I don't know if that would be a good idea or not. I've got plenty of wood, and I suppose I could just destroy one of these if it comes to it. You know what? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. It'll be fine. Also, game, what happened to all the jazz? I was really digging the jazz. The jazz was making me happy. Could you bring the jazz back, please? So yeah, right now we're just kind of doing our thing. Um, our task is build a road. I already got it. I've already built a lot of road. Don't worry about it. Hunting. Opening the living beings tab will do, since we're just waiting for stuff anyway. Um, let's actually open that back up, so that way I can show you some stuff here. Where is it? Okay, so if you're looking for... Uh, stuff to hunt. You're looking for the uh, the paw print. Little tab here. So yeah. What kind of music do I like? I like most music um, as long as it's not uh, like gospel. <laughs> if it's not gospel I probably dig it. I don't really have any any other real preferences here other than uh, other than that. Look at this big ass rat. I'm making my pet. Bring him in my tent. He can be my friend. 
I could send messages to all my friends. I can ride him like a horse. Like, look at him. He's huge. He's bigger than his children. Oh, by the way, we have child workers. <laughs> look at this little guy with his axe running around. That, that is a child. But anyway. Which uh, artist slash song would you recommend for you to check out? Man, I got no clue. Um, I'm not a big music person. I like most music, but... I don't really have any specific things to recommend, unfortunately. I'm a very uncultured, uncultured person when it comes to that. Uh, change game speed? Yep, got it. I'm done. I don't even think I mentioned that, but yeah, you can change the game speed between uh, one times speed, which I'm at right now, two times, three times, and all that. And then, of course, you can pause it, which I've already done. Overall, pretty good. So, uh, the reason why I wanted to build an outhouse sooner than later is because uh, an outhouse is not just for crapping, it's also for cleaning. Which is fun. Set a production limit. Okie dokie. Got it, thank you. Uh, production limits are exactly what they sound like. If you choose, uh, like this place for instance, I can come down here and uh, change how many. And if, uh, if they reach that production limit, then the worker will go do something else. Um, I'm gonna just set this production limit to... I don't know, 100. Why not? There we go. So when that reaches 100, they'll stop. When it's not at 100, they'll keep going. Pretty self-explanatory. <coughs> okay, this intense music is... is freaking me out, man. I'm gonna need you to stop. Stop! Okay. Wood deposit got cleared out there. So, Satoshi here can... Uh, grab this one now. There you go. Good job. Oh, Colonist Harry. Our, ch our, our small child, our baby boy, Harry, got hurt. Where are you? Well, it's a good thing we have a medical tent. I don't know how you got hurt. You're sleeping. What'd you do? Alright. A recyclist here. What's, what's going on here? Why are you having trouble? Is it because the other worker that was there uh, got hurt? No active deposits. Oh, right, I never set up where the heck you were going to gather. What a waste. What a waste! We could have had, you know, a bunch. Okay, so are you, are you good, or...? Okay. I built the medical tent specifically for this situation. Yeah, there you go. Go get healed. get healed. Run! Run, Harry! Run to the doctor! Have them fix your boo-boo! How injured could you be if you're running full tilt to the to the tent? What'd you do? Scrape your knuckles? Whatever. Okay, so our new task is to build a gate, which is going to take a little while, mostly because... Like I said before, it's a little expensive. Is there anything we need in the meantime? Water collector. We do have access to water here, but... Yeah, it's not great. That is actually 100% efficiency. Surprisingly. Although, to be honest, I'm not a big fan of using those. Just because they have to be manned, I would rather just build a water well. It's like, you can't put them next to each other, unfortunately, uh, but you can kind of space them out. Yeah, like we could put a water well here, next to this building, still get 12. So I'm going to do that right now, just, uh, just to kind of get ahead of our production of water, because eventually we're going to 
we're gonna get some more colonists, and they're gonna all need one water apiece. Someone's been stealing planks. Ruffians. Someone seems to have been stealing wood from the storage. A few colonists go to investigate, and after a bit of detective work, return with a group of rowdy children, one under each arm. Ooh, apparently the kids have been using the planks to build themselves a tree fort in the nearby forest. How dare you! No, I'm just kidding. I don't care about the stupid fort. You can keep the fort. Let the kids have their fun. Who's going to miss a few planks anyway? Well, it's 24 planks, but still. The children are practically beaming with joy after hearing that their precious fort will be saved. They thank the adults profusely. The next day, the colonists find a crude yet immensely colorful thank you card by the campsite, decorated with whatever might pass for finger paint. All right, but what is the paint? Berries? Don't tell me how you got the color brown. I don't want to know. All right, so you can see here, uh, Harry's at 76, 77, 78, 79. Almost done. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I'm not going to worry too much about uh, these things. Oh, and I'm pretty sure we don't need to have this manned anymore if we, uh, if we don't want it to be. But uh, one thing I would like to do is... At least queue up the gate, so that way they can start bringing materials to it. We've got enough wood. The plastic is still going to take a while, though. But, uh, yeah. Is what it is. I don't know. I think that uh, that's going to probably do it as far as a first look at the game is concerned. As far as an episode one is concerned. I'll probably do at least, uh, I don't know, four or five episodes of this. Just see what you guys think. Um, I like it so far. You know, hopefully this music isn't copyrighted. <laughs> that would be very unfortunate. If th that's gonna do it for that episode. If you guys liked it, feel free to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, so on and so forth. If you're watching on the stream, stick around. I'm gonna keep on playing. Yet again, I like to make cuts for YouTube. Okay. Let's go ahead and save too.